The 10 worst typhoons to ever hit the Philippines. Despite the frequency of typhoons passing through the Philippine area of responsibility, the effects they have on infrastructure, agriculture, and loss of life can often be impossible to get used to. Here is the list of some of the worst typhoons to ever hit the country. Typhoon Haifong. The most devastating typhoon to ever hit Philippine shores happened even before the country gained its independence from Spain. Typhoon Haifong developed over the Pacific Ocean in late September 1881, and though its exact category and strength are unknown, the impact it had on the Philippines and Vietnam was devastating. Around 20,000 people died in the Philippines alone. Haifong went on to hit the port town of Haifong in Vietnam, where it decimated the town almost completely. Eventually, this typhoon ended up claiming 300,000 lives, making it the world's third deadliest tropical cyclone ever. Typhoon Heyuner Yolanda. No discussion of Philippine typhoons can go without mentioning the deadliest typhoon in modern history. Super Typhoon Yolanda had 10 minutes sustained wind speeds of 230 km per hour and 1 minute sustained wind speeds of up to 315 km per hour causing widespread destruction and storm surges. The provinces of Samar and Leyte reported the largest number of fatalities, with 5,877 alone taking place in eastern Visayas. Tropical Storm Thelma or Uring. Although not technically a typhoon, Tropical Storm Uring ranks third in the deadliest storms to ever hit the Philippines. Although its winds were far from the strongest on record, it did cause torrential rainfall in many areas of the Visayas. Much of the region received around 150 mm or 6 inches of rainfall, but late in particular had as heavy as 580.5 mm or 22.85 inches. This rainfall overwhelmed the Analao Malbasag watershed and rivers, causing widespread and devastating flooding. Typhoon Baja or Pablo. Typhoon Pablo stands out for being the strongest recorded tropical cyclone to ever hit the island of Mindanao, which is often known for its lack of extreme weather events. It made landfall as a super typhoon, with wind speeds of up to 280 km per hour. Pablo caused disruption of electricity in two provinces and triggered landslides all over the island, forcing over 170,000 people to evacuate before traveling through Palawan, and eventually dissipating on December 9th. Angela Typhoon. Angela Typhoon also has the particular distinction of being the oldest deadliest typhoon to hit the Philippines in recorded history. Though not much is known about Angela Typhoon besides the number of fatalities caused by its arrival, its impact was large enough on Philippine history to keep the dubious honor of being the fifth deadliest typhoon to ever hit our shores. Tropical Depression Winnie. While also not technically a typhoon, Tropical Depression Winnie had the disastrous power of one due to its rainfall intensity. The heavy rainfall caused by this tropical depression triggered massive floods and landslides around the Quezon and Aurora provinces, resulting in huge losses of life and ranking it one of the deadliest storms to ever hit the country. It eventually turned to a north-northwesterly track and was last located along the northwestern Luzon coast on November 30 before dissipating. Unnamed 1897 Typhoon. Although Typhoon Yolanda may be the freshest in recent memory, the provinces of Samar and Leyte are no strangers to deadly weather events. An unnamed typhoon that made landfall in October 1897 tore through the island of Leyte a little over 200 years before Yolanda. Though it wasn't given a meteorological name, it caused enough extensive damage to claim the lives of approximately 1,500 people. It was recorded by the Observatorio de Manila. Typhoon Iker Nitang. Typhoon Nitang came out of a disturbed weather area near Guam before intensifying into a typhoon on August 30. 
it had 10 minutes sustained winds of 165 km per hour and 1 minute sustained winds of 230 km per hour, making it one of the strongest typhoons to hit the Philippines after the 1970 Pacific typhoon season. Nitang made landfall only four days after Tropical Storm June Haid hit the northern part of the Philippines and also arrived during one of the worst economic periods in the country's history. It was the worst typhoon to hit Surigao del Norte in 20 years. Typhoon Fengshin or Frank Typhoon Frank is perhaps best known for its role in the tragedy of the passenger ship MV Princess of the Stars, which capsized near Sibayan Island during the peak of the storm. Rescue attempts by the Philippine Coast Guard were impossible due to the size of the waves, and around 870 people perished. The country was poorly prepared for the impact of Frank due to errors in forecasting which predicted that Frank would track to the northwest away from the Philippines when it instead tracked west and hit full force over Luzon. Typhoon Durian or Reaming Typhoon Reaming at peak intensity had 10 minutes sustained winds of 195 km per hour and 1 minute sustained wind speeds of 250 km per hour. Its impacts were only exacerbated by the activities of Mayan volcano, which at the time had minor eruptions. Despite earlier preparations by the government, the heavy rainfall caused by reaming reaching over 457 mm or 18 inches in Albay clashed with the flows from Mayan, causing mudflows and lahar across the province. The torrential rain also caused dikes to break, inundating many parts of the region, and strong winds uprooted trees and houses. The history of the Philippines is peppered with storms, and their impacts feel even bigger on a small nation of smaller islands. However, while any one of these typhoons could cripple a nation, Filipinos have always picked themselves back up again. Like the bamboo growing across the archipelago, they bend in the face of strong winds, but never break.